To help with goalie positioning and movement in tight, I like to use another drill that we, I call it the corner breakaway. Most drills in, in practice often get shots from the center ice, but we do know that very few opportunities in a game originate from this position in here. So what I like to do is generate shots from this corner in here. What the shooter's gonna do is they're gonna come down close to the goal line, make a decision on how they're gonna try to score on the goalie. I love to use the marker to help show and demonstrate urgency for both shooters and goalies on how to make saves. So the shooter has to stay below this line, and all I'm using is a water-based fluorescent marker, and they're gonna shoot it before this spot here. So each shooter's gonna do whatever they want at the speed they want and make their choice and decision about goal scoring in this area. Let's see how Fraser does with his gap control and positioning. Wonderful. Hang on a sec. You can see how the drill puts urgency on the shooter. So this is the kind of drill that's actually very good for, for shooters just as much as they're good for goalies. Go ahead. We can see that Fraser's being very, very patient and waiting for the shot to come to him in on his angle. Wonderful. One more, let's go one more. Very good. One of the things that we notice with a lot of goalies is the goalies will use what's called the V1 position close to the post. So if you want to gain the V1 position. This is a position that's being taught by most goalie schools. It has a strong pad, it has a stick down in, in position, and a glove up high for short side. The wonderful thing about this is it really takes away a bottom part of the net, but the other thing is most shooters will start to recognize if a goalie's using the V1 all the time, they're on purpose going to shoot it off this, off this pad. So try to ask your goalie to be creative and not do the same thing all the time and they'll grow up to be wonderful goalies.